something going on in the uh, tuning community. Most people probably have heard about it yep. at this point. Kind of sad. Um, but I have some <clears throat> some highlights or positives, I think, that are going to come out of it. Okay. So um, obviously EPA is consistently cracking down on emission standards, stuff yep. like that. Yep. Um, we've been even even back like mid last year. Not that that's that long ago, but when yep. I was going stage two in my S3, yeah. um, I had the hardest time finding a decent downpipe because they're you oh, know, all the yeah. regulations and stuff like the one I got. Um, I had to sign off that it was for track use only. I had to sign a little which waiver. Which it is. Which it, it is. is. Yeah. It's never seen never the road. Never seen the road. Ever. Track, track use only. Um, it's when you say, hey, road. Your road? It's like, what's that? What's the road? <laughs> doesn't know. Everything's my track. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, it, and I talked about, um, I don't know if it was forever ago, but about trying to find the one from APR. Oh, and yeah. I called them because yeah. I was like, I can't find it anywhere. Yeah. And I wanted to get their stage two because I yeah. already had their stuff. I got their badges oh, right. on my car and everything. I don't want to take all that off. But um, they're like, yeah, we won't sell you a stage two unless you have our downpipe. I'm like, okay, sell me a downpipe. I'm like, well, we don't really sell that anymore. So <laughs> cool, like, guys. if you happen to get one and can give us a serial number, we'll sell you a stage two tune. But other than that, we can't get you stage two. So they would go so stage weird. one. Oh. They still do stage three, yeah, which comes with a downpipe and a big turbo and the high pressure and low pressure fuel pumps and like all that stuff. It comes with it? Yeah, they just want to supply kit. stuff for the stage two. Right, it's a stage two one, and I think the stage. You're helping. I don't guys. know if it's like the <laughs> spectrum of like for street use and for track use oh. only. I think oh. the stage okay. three one is probably like really for track use only yeah. kind of stuff. It's like, but it's know, like, hey, what are we doing here? If the whole point is to like try not to have more people do that, isn't it kind of worse to say, well, you can only get like if we're talking like bad for environment or whatever, yeah, yeah. or like least bad, medium bad, super bad, <laughs> or like. You, you could get the medium the bad, but we're not going to give you the parts. So you either got to go yeah. super light. And you're like, well, I'm already at lights. So I guess I go super now. <laughs> <laughs> it probably works out. <laughs> I'm sure it goes off of number of kits sold because the price differential from stage two oh, to stage is three crazy? is like, yeah, it's like $5,000 difference. I mean, yeah, if it, if it includes the turbo and stuff. Yeah, oh, it that makes big, sense. Yeah. It's a big difference. That's so, true. Makes sense. So anyways, um, Cobb is one of the yeah. big tuning companies, especially for Subaru. I know you got Cobb on yours. Um, they do a lot of Ford stuff. They do yeah. a lot of they do things for everything. Apparently, yeah, they do so. like Raptor kits and stuff yeah. too for the turbos. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they, they, do, they do like tuning they do for, like for everything. everything. But then they do Mazda, kits for They're a lot. big for Mazda. Yeah. Um, really? They mm -hmm. even do Audi Volkswagen stuff yep. too. You yep. get like a little accent. Weird. It's port. huge in the Mark Six stuff, like the GTIs oh, really? and stuff. Yeah, a lot of those guys will use it. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. I don't know for yeah, S3s, right. but at they least make GTIs it for S3 too. Yeah. They do? Yeah, okay. I was like, that'd be kind of weird having like this access port. I'm like, Subaru all of a sudden. Right? All of a sudden you put that on and I'm like, oh my Gauges turn to gritty gauges and like <laughs> car starts vaping. Like RPF ones on it all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, the oil leaking. Um, start getting super problems. So, anyways, they came out with the Cobb Green Speed, um, which is a reaction to um, some new regulations from the EPA. Mm. Basically, what they're doing is pulling most of their um, off-the-shelf tunes that okay. don't meet those epa standards so okay. they're dumbing down a lot of the tunes and from if i'm understanding it correctly even people who have it tuned already mm -hmm. yeah if you need to like do any kind of updates or yep. anything it's going to down downgrade yeah. your yep. tuning software oh, yeah down to it's the not like EPA, you have the EPA file standards. and you can use it now it's just going to go yeah, away it's, it's not like a, because the access port is like a hooked if you up try to online modify right. kind of thing yeah where a regular yeah. if you get like an off-the-shelf tune from most of the tuning companies you plug it in you flash your ecu that's just the way yeah. it is until you flash it different. Mm. And the access port, I guess, is... You well, have to hook that up to the internet, no, too, don't you? No. You have to plug so it in or whatever? You plug it into your computer. There's computer software for it. Keep in mind, I have the original access port, like yeah, the first a generation yeah. ones. So it's you like got, like, the matrix. need for speed, like, yeah. or fast and furious, <laughs> like, much, yeah, the much. little gauges and everything so on it. Yeah. I know from what I've read, though, like, the new one... So you plug it into your computer to download the tunes from Cobb's website to bring it in, but I'm sure that program is all connected and everything now yeah. like where it won't let you do certain things right i know oh. the big issue that came up was that one of the main things they turned off was there's defeat devices in cob tunes for engine lights and things like that so like on my subaru like it shuts off the engine light that would be there because it doesn't have a cat anymore things mm. like that so they sh they took that ability so away for passing emissions and lights. things like that you right. can't do you can't right. tune out you used to say right. like you tune out the engine right. light Which for the O2 I didn't sensor. Do it's just some Subarus have them. <laughs> some of those bad Subaru owners. <laughs> Not me though. I wonder if um and this might be like I'm just gonna say it. I love it. I wonder <laughs> if because like the IT side of me is thinking of like ways around it. <laughs> and yeah. I wonder if like you use one of those things where you can go to the old version of a website if you're still able yeah. to like trick Cobb. And like get the I thing and go to like a previous version yeah, of the no, it's 2014. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Download yeah. You just the change your date in your computer. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. There's so there's actual like there's like yeah like the wayback machine and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's programs that you can actually like go to like a, a previous version of a website. Yeah. To go to like their I previous wonder. date, like their versions. Yeah. I'm assuming I think it, they would offload. I would the data so. from it. Like, I think it live like it's like not, it's like the Adobe programs like check to make sure you have a current license every time they turn on. Pretty much. Oh, so like I think probably. it's a that. Like it won't let you do anything until it verifies connection with it. Yeah. I don't know though. It'd be interesting to see because I know a lot of guys on my Subaru page. Um, they have like the V3 access port. That's like the one that's affected by all this. Yeah. And um, they were saying that like, well, what am I going to, I just bought all the E85 parts for it. Now I can't tune my car for it. Yeah. I can't plug the thing in. I didn't download it yet or I did. And now like a lot of guys are asking that question. Like, well, what if there's an update or what if there's something else that comes right. out and I want to flash my car with the stuff I already bought for it. Yeah. Like, like but should... now it's going to detune it. So I can't even run E85 from them anymore. Like it's really weird. Like they, yeah. they like sold all this stuff and then they're like, can't support it anymore and then they got rid of it but yeah i don't know it's just like should be like a refund or something for that or They're some talking sort of about compensation that. i mean i've heard like i don't know if class action stuff would go anywhere but like i've heard that of like hey what can you guys do for me because i just bought like a lot of guys two in particular i saw had just bought the full e85 everything kit well, like the rails thousands and, and thousands of dollars too right. yeah that they've like, got it sitting waiting to install and then now you can't tune the thing with the company you bought everything from so now you're and if you're going to go That's like so custom tune now you got to like custom tune for all your crazy stuff where you could have just tuned off the shelf at least to start right. your car driving. But yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It just seems so, weird. I know there's a yeah. lot of things playing into it, probably with APR yeah. too. They're so big that now they're a big enough force that the government pays attention to them. So now there's yeah. like too much. I Kinda get like it. We talked about with um, a couple episodes ago, we talked about like um, one of the Hennessy trucks. Oh, yeah. Did, did you hear that one, the Hennessy truck that could, I they wanted to be sold in Finland? Ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. couldn't go above, wasn't it uh, 60 miles an hour? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So full so, power, but limited there. Which is so <laughs> sad. So yeah. we were talking about like Hennessy and we talked about Alpina too not that yeah. long ago. So these com- these tuning companies get so big yeah. and then they get acquired by like the actual company that are there for tuning. So I feel right. like APR, Cobb, like these, the big dogs in the industry yeah. that have been doing it a very long time and have been like the staple are kind of getting to that point of like, yeah. right. they're so big that they got all eyes on them because right. they have so much, right. so many customers and so many sales and all that right. stuff. Like they're, they actually are affecting right. stuff with right. all the stuff that they sell. Right. So what I'm excited about yeah. is the regression back to like, uh, custom tuners, DIY tuning tuning shops yeah, DIY tuning because that's what it was yeah. yeah there wasn't like when you got a when you were 1999 whatever and you got like a Civic and yeah. you were to toss a turbo on it you couldn't go to whatever website and just order yeah. the full kit the pre-flashed ECU the injectors the fuel pump True. like everything as a stage yeah, 3 kit it's projected yeah. to make 400 horsepower like that wasn't a thing okay. you would you would find the parts fab the manifolds yeah. like make all the stuff and then go take it to your tuner everybody yeah. had like a tuner right yeah. or a laptop or, yeah or a laptop <laughs> you can figure out the programming stuff and and tune it like to fit your needs so yeah. like there wasn't like like i could go to a euro car show and have like 25 other cars with exactly the same mods exactly the same output yeah mm-hmm. like everything is mine they're not That's that true. that unique yeah. or special that much anymore right because right? you can right. just buy the stuff so, and that just wasn't how it was, like, especially like Fast and Furious yeah. one days, you think like pulling up the car shows. All, and of course, all the cars looked outrageous, but like everything was like, <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> cool, but everything was like custom yeah. done. You yeah, know, totally it was like, saying. this is my actual build. Yeah. yeah. And now yeah. like builds are kind of bought. Right. Because you just buy it. Yeah, it's a good point. Well, it's, it's direct all, bolt on. It's all bolt on. Yeah. It's yeah. not like a build anymore where you like had to run a custom nitrous setup or you're right. doing whatever. Like you have engine sw- engine swaps are really the only like built not bought thing now. Basically. Like, I put a Ferrari yeah. engine well, in my that, Jeep. You can just also, buy anything pretty right. much now. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'd also say though, like Ryan's Porsche is a, that's a build. Oh, 100%. Yeah, oh, for sure. That's, we got to oh, talk yeah, about that. Full yeah. Disassemble. Yeah. Oh, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't saying just, I guess yeah. that was maybe a little bit too narrow. There's definitely like, people that do full but that's, yeah, that's 100%. Kind of, yeah, I get what you're saying. That's what, like, I would say that is the only thing that kind of more constitutes an actual build right. nowadays. It's like Because there's one of one stuff on your car now. It's not just yeah. whatever. You can't just order everything and bolt it all onto it. And then yeah, now right. it's a build. It's You're still, if you're the one doing work on it, whatever. There's yeah. gray area in there. But like, yeah, like FBO wasn't a thing. Like full bolt on. Yeah. Wasn't like a class of stuff. Back in the day, did you just like, learn that term? Yeah, I just learned that term. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, Maybe that. it's not a term, and I just have been yeah, saying that it. One. <laughs> so, anyways, I think there's definitely a green side. Just, oh, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. There's a good side to this. this the grass like, is greener over yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> not actually though, because <laughs> we're killing it. With this. But <laughs> it's actually just a lot of asphalt. But <laughs> but it sounds cooler. <laughs> So I think that's probably going to be where this goes if and who knows how far this goes. But yeah, if sure. if it really gets so regulated yeah. where like you can't 
do anything outside of like just buying the next trim up model of your yeah. car to get like cooler stuff yeah. and better horsepower and whatever. Yeah. Like if that's all the tuning is going to do for you and it right. still costs as much as it does, like yeah. that stuff isn't cheap. Right. Even those off the shelf tunes are like right. seven, 800 bucks. Right. Yeah. Most of them, right. maybe even more on a lot of them. So right. um, I think it's going to go back to more of like the, the local tuners yeah. and like you go, you do the mods that you do, you right. source them, you find them, you build them, whatever. Right. And then you put it together, you take it to the tuning shop. They do like the dyno tunes, custom tune setups and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's going to be even cooler uh-huh. because right. of all the tech that we have now. Like right. what a Honda had two sensors back in the <laughs> right. day to right. tune stuff on. Right. And now my Audi's got like a hundred right. sensors yeah. to, to tune everything on. Yeah. So the tuners you really will be more fine tune it and, down into it. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. even, so I've looked into this. I, um, I kind of started dabbling in this and then I tapped the brakes. I was like, I should not do this right now. But with <laughs> the WRX, cause it's got a tune from. I don't know when my father-in-law tuned it. I mean, maybe 2006, something like that, 10, mm-hmm. 5, 2006. So, like, it's an old tune. And if you think about it, so, like, the reason you tune a car, apart from putting updates on it, like, you can do a stage one tune and unlock more horsepower because from the factory, they do a tune across the board. That's a right. learning tune, but they're trying to, like, not blow up motors. So then from there... They're trying to make the most efficient, the most right. reliable right. setup that's going to just right. be the same perform as well right. as it can. Yeah. So yeah. then stage one, you purchase that from an APR... Or from Cobb or whatever, all, it's an off-the-shelf tune. It's not specialized to your car still, so it's right. still just taking the stock tune and going a little further. Mm-hmm. So, like, it is pretty common practice right now, at least in the Subaru world. I'm pretty sure it is in the Audi world too of getting custom tunes for your car. Like that is a normal right. thing. And there's remote tuners, which is really, I think that part's super cool because yeah. you can, like, what I was when I first got the Subaru and I was sending you guys pictures of like data logs. Like it's that you literally will do lo- like you'll log some polls on your car and you'll send a graph of certain parameters to them. They'll analyze it. They can com- create a tune for your car. You'll log some more, send it back, and Dude. then they can customize it and everything. So you can essentially do like road dynoing on your car right. and somebody remotely can do it. That's so like so I bought cool. I bought a tune for it and it was like, I mean, I think it was $70 for like a stage two plus tune. Wow. That's for my turbo. My it, You choose from drop downs because they've had the time to, They've b- built it for the car and they kind of know. Yeah. So I picked it for my turbo, for my intercooler, for everything that I have set up in the car, what it's, what it's built at. And then you can choose like, do you want launch control? Sure. All right. Yes. And like add that all in. And then with that, you can flash it onto your own car. Obviously, it's do at your own risk. I think you're going to run into a lot more people blowing up their engines. Yeah, yeah maybe 100%. that's good because like you'll have more people like like it's, be a little more it's, careful. Yeah, yeah, it'll be make people more, more careful, but like also way more invest. Like we talked about it on the cars 101 thing, but like you're way more vested and like. Uh, confident in your car like the more little yeah, things you do right so if you right. are like like i felt awesome when i finally figured out what was causing that weird um like i was getting that weird misfire and then the rich condition randomly yeah. and i finally solved it by looking at logs and working through it and everything and it felt like just the next level of like oh this is sick like i understand how these systems work yeah, and everything right. now yeah. so like it could bring back that cool side of like uh, like uh, last thing i said and i guess like right now there's there was so much in the past, like all this like slammed cars and static cars and all these kind of things. And we'd talked about like how it's way different than muscle car scene because things have gotten so digital and so computerized that it's right. inaccessible. It's out there. So like what I can do is lower my car and I can do cosmetic stuff, but right. like maybe this will start like reeling it back over to like, no, you can like tuning is something you can figure out. You can <laughs> well, get back. Dude, into just it. think of like back over. the internet now, right? <laughs> like there's so much so access to information yeah. Yeah. that like, Back, it seems like maybe the only I'm reason I know my lines. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah but like the timelines that I'm thinking is like '90s, early 2000s. It's yeah. like that tuning era. Yeah. That's really when like tuners. Yeah, the golden kind of era of forums. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so like there was such a lack of information, lack of like tech and all that yeah. stuff. Now there's so like you're saying you can probably just plug in a Wi-Fi OBD2 port. Yeah. to your thing. And then mm-hmm. be on Zoom or whatever yeah. with your tuner. And well, he's like doing mega like squirt ch- stuff can go on like an iPad as a display. So like yeah. you can see stuff there and twitch There's tunes and so stuff. So much crazy. different. So I think the like learning curve will be a lot faster yeah. totally. for people to learn how to do it. For the people right. who really want to get yeah. invested right. in, in doing it. Yeah. If you want to learn it, you can find all the things you need to learn it, which is yeah. really cool. That's really, really cool. cool. So yeah. thank you, Cobb. Uh, thank you, EPA. <laughs> I think we're gonna yeah. get into a cool age of tuning, especially yeah. with what we have been talking about is like where technology is going and then also right. the sweet tech that's coming out. Right. Like, dude, the Dodge Hurricane Twin Turbo Straight 6 might yes. be coming so out yes. in I'm a world so excited, that dude. Is, is like off-the-shelf tunes are abolished. Like, it right. might be coming into that age. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be like a whole world of like right. people needing to right. also I just need to say stuff this. themselves. Dodge, hear my cries. Bring <laughs> the stealth back. <laughs> Please. That's good you're saying You are cause... setting yourself up for this. Like, just do it. <laughs> It's, I'm glad you're saying because Dodge is absolutely listening to this podcast. 100%. We know that. We've already verified. <laughs> yeah, after we, yeah. So. Yeah, thank you, Carl Dodge, for listening. I don't know. That's what I'm <laughs>